Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Turn-On, Turn-Off Time Measurements. In this presentation, we'll provide a short technical introduction to measuring turn-on and turn-off delay in AC-DC power supplies. This presentation assumes a basic familiarity with AC-DC power supplies. If you're not already familiar with these types of power supplies, or if you'd like a brief review, you might want to watch the presentations Understanding Linear Power Supplies and or Understanding Switching Mode Power Supplies before beginning this presentation. Let's start by talking about ideal versus real-world power supplies. In an ideal AC to DC power supply, the target DC output voltage would appear immediately after AC is switched on. In real-world supplies, however, the target DC output voltage does not occur immediately or instantaneously. There are numerous reasons for this, including the time required for capacitors to charge, soft start functions, etc. Conversely, the DC output voltage does not drop immediately to zero when the AC input voltage is switched off. This is actually desirable or even required in some cases. For example, we may want the supply to provide power for a short period of time, even after the device is switched off, so that information or settings can be saved. This can also help prevent issues caused by brief input power interruptions or SAGs. In fact, some regulations for medical and aviation devices specify a minimum time that output power must be provided after the supply is turned off. We can therefore define two delay times. The turn on delay is the time between when the AC input voltage is switched on and when the DC output voltage reaches some defined level. Turn off delay is the time between when the AC input voltage is turned off and when the output DC voltage falls to a defined level. You may sometimes hear turn off delay referred to as hold up time. Although there can be considerable variation in turn on and turn off delay for different supplies and test conditions, these times are usually in the millisecond range. Note too that the on and off DC levels can be defined in different ways. Typically for turn on, the measurement is made at the point where the output voltage reaches 90% of the target output level. For turn off, the measurement point may be where the output power is still high, it may be where the output power is mostly off, or it may be somewhere in between. This is determined by the specific application or requirements. Turn on and turn off delay are measured using an oscilloscope and appropriate probes. The measurement setup is very simple. One channel of the oscilloscope is connected to the AC input, and a second channel is connected to the DC output. Note that testing is usually conducted with a load attached to the output, often such that maximum current is drawn. Turn-off delay tends to be a function of the attached load characteristics. The delay can be measured by manually placing cursors and reading off the time difference between them. In some cases, the phase of the AC voltage at turn-on can affect the turn-on delay, and therefore a lab AC source, which allows control of the AC voltage phase, may be useful in some testing scenarios. And because the times involved may be relatively long, but with rapid transitions, it's important to be sure that the scope has both sufficient memory depth and a sufficient sampling rate to accurately record these events. Let's look at a more detailed example of how turnoff delay or holdup time is measured. We use two channels of an oscilloscope to acquire the AC input and DC output waveforms. Our nominal DC output voltage is 5 volts. In this case, we want to measure the delay until the output voltage is 90% of this value, or 4.5 volts. So we configure a falling edge trigger with a level of 4.5 volts. In this way, when the scope triggers on the falling DC output voltage, the waveforms will be centered on the screen. Markers or cursors are then placed on the trigger point and on the AC turnoff point, and the time difference between them is simply read off the screen. Note that here we define the turnoff voltage as 90% of the nominal output voltage, 
but other voltage levels could have been defined as the turnoff point. Let's end with a brief summary. In real world power supplies, turn on delays the time between when the input AC is switched on and when the DC output rises to a given level. Turn off delay is a measure of the time between when the AC is switched off and when the DC output voltage falls to a given level. These delays can be measured using an oscilloscope by connecting one channel to the AC input and another channel to the DC output. Cursors are then placed on the appropriate points to obtain the time delay. Remember that this type of testing should be performed with a load attached, since load characteristics often have a significant impact on the delay time. This concludes our presentation, Understanding Turn-On, Turn-Off Time Measurements. If you're interested in learning more about power-related measurements, or how these measurements are made using oscilloscopes, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.